Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to submit data to Treebase. And we're going to go through an entire submission. Uh, I've chosen a paper, this one, that came out in the year 2000 by Miyamoto, Porter, and Goodman. And I thought I would submit the data, the phylogenetic data that is behind this publication. And I have the data here. Here's my data file. In fact, if I open that up in Mesquite, and you should always check that your data can open in Mesquite without producing any errors. What I discover is that I have a taxon block, I have a DNA sequence block, it's the CMIC sequences, and I have a set of trees. In fact, I'll just maybe rename this tree block and call it something like make maximum likelihood analysis because that produced this tree. I can take a look at the tree. You can see that it is properly rooted and, and branch lanes have been included inside the, the tree notation. Okay. So I'll just save this file, and it's ready now to be uploaded. So first thing is to go to Treebase. So open up your web browser and click on the Submit button. Now if you haven't created a username yet, then you can click Sign Up. Otherwise, you can type in your username, which in this case, and then your password. And now I'm logged into my account. Here are submissions that I've already uploaded and they, the data here are published. So now I'll click New Submission. And I'll give the submission a title. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, one I just give it the same title as in the paper. And this helps me see from among the many submissions I've, I've put in, I can easily see which one refers to what. Notes for the study, these notes are really for my own benefit and for sharing with the tree-based staff. Okay, so the, the notes here are not really for the public. So you can write whatever you want, such as, you know, this is largely complete or something like that. Uh, any, any information that's useful for tracking your progress in submitting the data. If you want extra help from tree-based staff in terms of being in full compliance with the NSF data management plan, uh, then you can just write in, uh, please help stay in compliance with the NSF um, data management requirements. And Treebase staff will see this and will just take special effort to make sure that you've supplied enough metadata and all your files are complete. And we'll, we'll try and go the extra mile to make sure that happens. At any rate, you can click Submit. Uh, so now what we have, you'll notice there's a toolbox over here. That gives you an idea of your progress in completing the submission. And where you see boxes in yellow, that generally indicates that the submission is incomplete for those items. I can just hover over that and here it says no submission information has been entered yet. No, sorry, citation information. No authors have been entered and no files have been uploaded. So clearly we need to complete this and once we've completed it and there are no more sort of yellow highlighting, then it means the data, the submission is ready to be made public. Okay, I'll start with the citation. It's fairly straightforward. We've got, you can choose an article, book, or book section. And typically, PhD theses and proceedings and so forth would go under book section. Uh, the year, actually, for this publication was the year 2000, and it is published. So I will change that to published. 
the article title, well, I have that metadata here. Here's the article title. And I'll put a period at the end of that, for punctuation. The keywords, I extracted those, and here they are. So I'll just copy paste the keywords in. The abstract, likewise, I will paste that in. Okay. Is there a DOI number? Yes, there is. So I'm going to just bring out the journal DOI number, copy that, and paste it in here. Is there, and there's a PubMed ID as well. So I'll put that in. And we need to put in a journal. Um, title, authors, and journal are the only parts of the citation that are really required. We don't want to make any submission public without actually putting in what journal it comes from. So that, that is required. But volume, issue, and page numbers, those can be filled in later if you don't know them already. In this case, of course, I, I do know what these are. Um, it's uh, volume 49, issue number 3, and the page number is 501 through 514. Submit. Okay, so that's in there. Now I still need to enter the authors. I'll click authors here and start by entering a last name. So here are the authors. And I've ordered them by the order with which the authors appear in the publication. So I'll put in the last name of the first author. And what it indicates is that this person already exists in Treebase. Although I noticed there's no email address, and I actually have his email address here. So I, I think I'll create a new record in order to, a new author record to update this person, essentially. So Michael M. And then I'll just copy-paste the rest in his email address. Submit that. Done. So that's the first author. You've got the email address and full full name, last name. Uh, next person is Calvin Porter. Again, I will put in the last name Porter, see what we have. And there is no Calvin Porter. If there was, I would just click insert and just use an existing record. But this Calvin is new to Treebase. So I will And under email address, I also have his email. I don't know if that's up to date, but so be it. And we have our second author, our third author, Goodman. Let's see if he's in here. And Morris Goodman is not in here. So we will create, again, a new person. Whoops. Like so. Now notice, had I put in the authors in the wrong order, I could change them by pressing these up and down buttons. So you could reorder the authors. And But at, at this point it looks fine. I'll go back to home here. And the citation is now written out in full. And that looks right with the authors in the correct order. So now I'm ready to upload some data. Click Upload. I'll choose a file. And here's the Nexus file that I'm uploading. This Nexus file contains the data matrix, the, the resulting tree, and the tree has been rooted correctly. So we click Upload. Uh, that upload is finished, and we can see that it says one matrix was uploaded and one tree was uploaded. Uh, at the server side, we have a version of Mesquite that parses all incoming data. And if you want to just double check that the data was parsed properly, that there are no errors, you can take a look at uh, the output from Mesquite. And I don't see any serious problem in the log files. 
So as a result, we have um, one matrix here uploaded and one tree inside a tree block that was uploaded. Uh, these items are now in yellow, which means we have to do something about them. If I hover over matrices, I could see that the error is that some matrices are not part of an analysis. And in trees, it says some trees are not part of an analysis. That means we have to create analyses to link our matrices with our trees. I'll click Analyses here. 